Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Play's Arcade Block. Today, it is the October 2015 Arcade Block. They're actually getting better at getting these to me in the month that they're actually supposed to be in. Uh, this is not that new sci-fi block, or whatever they called it, that I, we were talking about last month with the Zelda block. Um... This is still just the arcade block. That block should be coming next week, or next month. Next month, yes. Uh, as for this one, I have no idea what is, you know, a theme or anything like that. This is standard for me. I have no idea if they're doing Halloween. But there is some rattling in there. So let's open it up and take a look. Whoop. Ah, we see some interesting things. First things first, the stuff that's actually giving me a hell of a lot of attention. The Geeky T-Shirts. It is... That looks familiar. Why, why does that look familiar? Does it say? Hopefully it actually kind of doesn't. Uh, okay, I'm going to guess... Uh, Gears of War 3. That's my guess anyways. Kitty wants to say hi and take a look at the shirt. <laughs> Alright, so there's a t-shirt that I'm not 100% sure what the logo is. I don't remember Gears of War all that well. So, next, we have Atari with, uh... Oh, I forget. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> I forget what game that is. Oh, block breaker or something but it's an atari hat seems oddly appropriate considering i now run a uh arcade museum hmm okay i'm gonna need you to hop down off the table kitty go kitty all right so that's kind of cool we have something from fallout here we have fallout vinyl figures so it's a little itty bitty vinyl figure let's see we have uh vault boy we have a Oh, fuck, I forget all these things. I really, really do. We apparently have Death, a punk. Oh, there's a lot of them. We even have Mysterious Stranger. That's awesome. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Pocket knife, pocket knife. Let's take a look at this thing and see what we get inside. Oop, I dropped the value. Come on, come on. It is a mystery what we could get, or what we got. What we could get is not a mystery. What we got is a mystery. And we got a black plastic bag. Yay! All, what I, always what I wanted. There's a very tiny, tiny figure inside this plastic bag. It is... Pensive Vault Boy. Doesn't look too terribly thrilled about his existence. And what's that thing on his hand? I don't remember there being a thing on the back of the glove. I remember the pit boy, but not on the glove itself. Hmm. But he's got the 10 millimeter pistol, my favorite gun in the game. Why? I'm not 100% sure. He has very, very odd feet. It's like they're hooves, but they're backwards. Like, like his feet are on backwards if they were hooves. I don't know, this is very strange. I don't know what to think about that thing. Hmm. Moving on, we have something that's supposed to look like a Super Nintendo cartridge box. Retro City Rampage DX. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Carjack, the 80s at 88 mile per hour. The entire world, or the entire open world is in danger of you. You are the player. You are out for a friendly frolic of crime capers when suddenly ambushed by the good guys. Well, the good guys put an end to your rampage of doom. Or are you bad en or will the good guys put an end to your rampage of doom? Or are you bad enough to defeat them? Uh, okay, that's kind of interesting. That's a bit weird. Is it a thing? It's... <laughs> it's a floppy disk. Haha, <laughs> cute. Uh, it's a game, I would assume. 
high density compact disc, superior graphics, monophonic sound. Okay. Um, so yes, it's a, just a regular CD. Huh, cool. That's something I haven't seen in forever. It, it's displayed like a floppy disk, and apparently there's a game on here, and that's kind of cool and kind of interesting, and I kind of can't figure out where to stick the knife in. Come on. There we go. Let's take a look at this thing real quick. Uh, apparently they didn't decide to go with the whole, you know, Halloween thing that everything else is going for. Yep, it's just a regular compact disc. Retro, Retro City Rampage DX includes Windows, Mac, Linux, and DOS. Oh, you know I'm trying that on DOS. <laughs> you know I'm going to try to run that on DOS. And what's hilarious is I can. Maybe not this video, but uh, you know I'm going to try. Oh, it doesn't go in there. There's a specific little slot that this goes into. There we go. All right, so, yeah. Damn right I'm trying that on DOS. All right, next we have Titanfall Connects. Well, that's something I haven't seen in, like, forever. I haven't seen Connects in forever. Yeesh. All right, so Titanfall Connects. Not what I was expecting. Not something I'm terribly interested in. I guess I could kind of understand if some people are interested in Kinex and Titanfall, but it's not my kind of thing. All right, moving along, we have... You can also expect some super-powered items from Resident Evil, Halo, and a small appearance from Legend of Zelda, and more. Next month, Arcade Block is bringing you an explosive item from Uncharted. An Arcade Block exclusive vinyl. I really, really, really got to remember to get my stereo back. <laughs> we got a new stereo down at the restaurant so I can get my stereo back. So I've just got to actually remember to do that. So this was the first part where you get stuff from Uncharted and you're also getting Resident Evil, Halo, and something from Legend of Zelda. Again, I guess that's a good fallback. All right, anything else in here before I go to the card? No. Okay, so let's see what's in the card. Exclusive Retro City Rampage DX. Um, okay, there is a thing that I should probably blur out on the bottom of that. Anyways, uh, exclusive shirt punch t-shirt. Be the best dressed person in the line. Of min uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Okay, I totally guessed wrong. I thought it was Gears of War. I guess... Thinking about it, uh, Gears of War is a little dated, isn't it? Uh, Atari baseball cap. Uh, does it say what games is actually playing? Because I can't remember the name of it. It's like something bricks? I don't remember. Uh, Kinex Titans Titanfall construction set and Fallout Funko mystery minis. So itty bitty tiny Funko vinyl pops that really don't feel like the vinyl pops. Hmm. Very, very strange. All right, so, as tradition dictates, it's time to put things back in the box. Well, obviously the card goes back in the box. It's already in there. We have the advertisement for next month. That's obviously going back in the box. I'm going to put these back in the box because I'm never going to play with them. You know, i got to admit it, I'm never going to play with them. So... They go back in the box. Retro City Rampage DX? Oh, hell no. They advertise DOS compatibility. I'm going to test that. Little tiny Funko Pop Vault 101, boy. So this is uh, from Half Le or Fallout 3. God damn it. I am tired. It's kind of late in the day. Um, so, hmm. Yeah, I'll put him up. I guess, somewhere. Mm. The Atari hat, well, oddly enough, I collect baseball caps. I tend not to wear them, but I collect them. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be kept. And the shirt, eh, I like the shirt. I mean, it's a game that I don't play, but I like the shirt. So I'm going to keep the shirt, too. All right, so 
That was the arcade block for October 2015. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.